North Carolina Supreme Court Chief Justice Sherry Beasley made history when she became the first African-American female Chief Justice in state history. And now she is helping to make sure all North Carolinians appreciate the history of the court with an exhibit called Law and Justice, the Supreme Court of North Carolina at the North Carolina Museum of History. And she is joining me right now. It is such a pleasure to have you here. Phil, thanks for having us. So this obviously is something that has a lot of meaning to you as the Chief Justice of our state Supreme Court. Well, we're really excited. We have spent the whole year this year and last year, and then we'll also travel next year across the state of North Carolina commemorating the court's 200th anniversary. So we are taking our work to the people. And, you know, as you can well imagine, most folks will not have an opportunity to ever come to the Supreme Court of North Carolina. So to be able to hold court in places like Rowan County and Forsyth County and Cumberland County, it's just really been an exciting time. Well, it's also a great opportunity to actually interact with the people that make up our state Supreme Court, to see the people who have made up the Supreme Court since oftentimes, even as reporters, we hear about the state Supreme Court, but it's out there yes. and you're bringing it right here. It is wonderful. It's been wonderful for us to have direct contact with people. We've been very diligent about making sure that there are high school students who attend our hearings um, and also making sure that there are they have access um, electronically to the work that we do and so often you'll see our, our, our oral arguments on Facebook um, <laughs> and so that's been really it's just been really exciting. I think people understand that we are real people right. um, which is really important um, and I think they have a better sense of what our work is and so um, um, we go to these cities and towns that have great historic significance for the state and for the court, and we hear our cases, and then people are engaged in hearing what our work is like and how the cases start at the trial level and how they work their way up to the Supreme Court, and then they also are interested in knowing what the outcome is, which of course we don't tell them on that day, we issue opinions later. So even as I continue to travel and the court does, we, we hear people say, well, how did you decide this case? Um, it's, sometimes we haven't decided it quite yet, but it's been great just to see and to hear the questions people have about those, about those cases. Well, it's also got to be very rewarding for you since you, you were working for the people yes. and be able to share your experiences with the people. Absolutely. And most of these cases that we hear come from the places where we're actually sure. sitting courts hearing. So sometimes there's some level of familiarity for the people who are there hearing the arguments, which is really pretty fascinating as well. What I love it in this exhibit is going to be running for uh, six months. It is actually beginning uh, tomorrow, I believe, is the opening of the exhibit. Tomorrow is the opening of the exhibit. Um, we're really excited that Justice Willis Wichard, uh, former justice of the Supreme Court, has worked very hard in making sure that we provide this opportunity for people all over North Carolina. We're expecting lots of groups to tour the exhibit, lots of school children, of course, and we're re very excited that this will sort of be interactive. There, there will be days that uh, justices will actually be there to talk with folks about the work of the court and the history of the court. So we're very excited about the exhibit. Well, we're very excited to go and check it out. As I said, we cannot thank you enough for making some time out of your very busy schedule to come here and talk to us. I know that it's going to mean a lot to the people of North Carolina, so thank you. Well, and Bill, and I also want people to know that we also have a documentary that's yes. produced by Tom Earnhardt and it will be shown on US UNC TV so that's also another expose of the 200th anniversary of the court and so if people can catch that on, on UNC TV I think they'll also get a real treat in seeing some of the workings of the court over the years. Oh I love it Chief Justice Cherry Beasley we appreciate you and we appreciate all the work that's being done to make this happen. Thanks for having me.